Hello, I will give a high-level introduction on UWB ranging techniques. The first ranging technique is called single-sided two-way ranging. Time of flight is a measurement of the time it takes for the radio waves to travel a distance in the air. The initiator, A on the slide, sends a pole message to the responder, B. The time needed by the pole to cross the distance between A and B is the time of flight which equals the distance divided by the speed of light. The delay of the processing in the responder between the reception of this pole and the transmission of the response is added to the response message by the responder. The time needed for the return message to reach A again is the same time of flight as before. The initiator knows the delay between sending the pole and receiving the response and can calculate the time of flight and hence the distance. Single-sided two-way ranging is a simple technique, but any clock reference difference between the initiator and the responder can lead to time of flight calculation errors. To avoid this, double-sided two-way ranging is used. In double-sided two-way ranging, basically two single-sided two-way rangings are performed. Each device can calculate the time of flight. The clock differences between the two devices are compensated, but somewhat more energy is required because more frames are sent. Another ranging technique is time difference of arrival, or TDOA. TDOA is normally used for indoor location services or navigation use cases. The initiator sends out data packets as blinks and the anchor doesn't respond to them. The time difference of arrival method estimates the location of the initiator by using the difference of the timestamps between the anchors, which have a known location. Four anchors are needed for localization without ambiguities. All anchors must be synchronized. This induces additional system complexity and hardware cost increase compared to two-way ranging. Next to calculating a distance, UWB can also be used to calculate an angle of arrival. Angle of arrival is based on a phase difference of arrival technique. The phase difference of arrival calculation is done using the response of a two-way ranging using the phase difference between the signals received on two antennas. The phase difference is calculated using the carrier signal, not the UWB pulse envelope. The reception antenna spacing should be below half a wavelength for this, so about 19 millimeters in channel 9. 